Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for October 2nd, 2014, Thursday night, around 8.05 p.m. The sun's down, it didn't come up today, and it's about in the 50s, it's cleared up. And hopefully we'll get some sun tomorrow. Some news to report. The 2015 NFL Draft will be held in Chicago, Illinois on April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd of 2015. And also Thursday Night Football tonight. The uh, Vikings against the Packers. And also a lot of the, the callers on the sports Radio stations in Boston, WEI and the Sports Hub, are blasting the Patriots, especially Tom Brady and stuff. They're saying Tom Brady's over the hill, Tom Brady's done. They also said the past, like, five years, the Patriots have used Tom Brady and and other stuff. Hey, they, they have that titles of opinions. There's only four games in the season. The Patriots are going to do fine. The AFC is weak. Very, very weak. The AFC East is very weak. So they'll, they'll probably get in the playoffs. Just give it some time. They're going to win the division, folks, because the AFC East is weak. Nine and seven could mean the division, in my opinion, this year. The Patriots are probably getting, like, the, the, the demise could is, could be exaggerated, but it could happen. But it's not going to happen this year, in my opinion. Patriots are still good. They have the best talent in the, in the AFC East. That's my opinion. Okay, on to my third and final video vlog of the night. And it's about the Lowell Open Studios. It's the 14th annual Lowell Open Studios this weekend. October 4th and October 5th and the, the Lowell Open Studios is over 200 artists of all kinds of art, paintings, watercolors, drawings, illustrations, sand art, film, any, any art you want, they're going to all be displayed in so many so many different varieties and so many different places around Lowell. A lot of it's down in downtown Lowell. There's a few in the in the Western Ave Studios on Western Ave in Lowell. Plus there's the 119 Gallery on Chelmsford Street. There's a few lofts in downtown Lowell. And it's going to run from 11 a.m. to... 5 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, October 4th and October 5th. It's a fun time. I've been to the, the low Open Studios um, two times, 2012, 2013. I'm going to go again this year. I enjoy these um, events. I go to several different places and I look at the art and stuff. Some of the artists are real talented to do the arting, the drawings they do. They s s try to sell their work. And, you know, I don't buy art, but, you know, it's very, very, very talented these people are. And also, Lowell, Massachusetts is getting to be a hotbed for artists. A lot of artists have moved into Lowell in, in the lofts. There's a lot of lofts in Lowell where they do the drawings, the paintings, the illustrations, the, the everything. And it's it's a hot it's getting to be a hotbed of art in Lowell, and it's one of the signature events in Lowell. Each year is the Lowell Art Open Studios, and some of the artists usually have some goodies and stuff like that, and business cards, and you could enter drawing uh, drawings for a contest, which you could win free art or tickets to other stuff in Lowell and the surrounding areas and st stuff like that and if you and also like there's a bus that goes to the different arts art galleries in Lowell like 
for the for the open art studio like the Western Avenue Studios, Open Studios, One Nineteen Gallery, the Mill Number Five, and a few of them in downtown Lowell, and it's a fun time and it's free of charge. You're not going to pay anything to go to these open studios, so it's it's a good deal and Lowell's a, a good walking area, so if you're taking the MBTA, you could take um, it f to Lowell Station, or you could drive around Lowell, or you could take the LRTA. There's a lot of buses that you could take the downtown shuttle and stuff like that. And it's within walking distance, or you could drive to Lowell and find parking and go to these open studios. It's, it's, a, it's a good deal, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. I recommend if you're in the Lowell area this weekend, drop by. I'll be there Saturday. Maybe I'll bump into you. You never know. And that's about it on that. And that's the third and final video blog of the night I'm doing. I love doing these video blogs. And for you Facebook friends and YouTube followers, I'm going to be continue to do these video blogs for days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, millenniums, infinity. It's fun and my subject for tomorrow will be the top 10 greatest game show announcers of all time and also it's, there's going to be a video blog about ESPN2 and the, and the third and final video blog of the night will be the personality profile which will be about former Major League Baseball player Adam Dunn. And don't forget, the future video blogs are coming. There's going to be definitely one about Julie Broughton. I mentioned her today that she got a promotion for Local News 6 from being the weekend weather, weather, weather anchor to the traffic reporter for Local News 6. Congratulations to Julie. I'm a big fan of hers. And also... There's going to be one about Heidi Lee Pratt and Crystal Pistol and Janelle Tobin and other top 10 lists. I can't say what they are right now. And others, 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 others. And there might be some good ideas I'm thinking about. I might be thinking about this. I might be thinking about having maybe once a month a, a video blog. All, th all, maybe all three of them d devoted to maybe doing a day answering feedback or questions you might give me and I'll answering them. I would like to hear questions and answers. You send me questions, I'll answer them for you. And other subjects and other sports, television, weather, news, commentary. You name it, I'll deliver it to you. I don't know if I'll ever have a guest on here, but that's a possibility. Always a possibility. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. See you tomorrow. Bye now.